I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. We're going to create a dealt hand and then practice identifying the strength in the hand. Well, really, it's two hands because you're playing two hands at once. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a pair of flowers, north and east, red and green dragon. In cracks, we have one, four, five, nine, pair of fours. In dots, we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pung of twos, pair of threes. In bams, we have four, six, eight, nine, pung of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? When I first looked at these tiles, my eyes were drawn to the pungs, twos and eights. And there is a hand in evens for two suits with twos and eights and six flowers. But since we only have a pair of flowers, I started thinking about using all the multiples and that drove me to consecutive run. So here we have two, three, four, five, pung, pung, kong, kong. We need help right here. And of course we need to build up one more here, but I'd say that looks pretty strong. And then down here, we need to keep this. I was thinking seven, eight, nine, mix suit kong, seven, eight, nine. But because we have this multiple here and these are singles, I would keep all consecutive run around the eight. So five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, which is why I'm keeping the nines. So I would start by discarding those and just gather. Don't pick a hand till we run out of discards. Let's see, flowers. We have the eights, maybe keep the red dragon because we could do like numbers with eights, flowers, and the red dragon. So start by discarding those and see what comes in. We're, we won't be able to keep all of these, but we have a good plan B for the weakest hand. This looks pretty strong, I think. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write what you would do in the comment section below with pull one. We have a flower, south white, in cracks. We have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, pairs of twos and eights. In dots, we have one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, pair of twos, pair of eights. In bams, we have one, two, five, six, seven, eight, pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for the two, four, six, eight pair hand, and then maybe gather for big odds.
look at all this 2468. 2468 pair hand. 2468. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this. 2828. We need a six dot and a flower for 2468 pair hand using these two. And up here, we could do odds, but we could also maybe do five, six, seven, eight, and use these up here. Five, six, seven, eight. Here's six, seven, eight, seven, nine, five, seven. This, if we use five, six, seven, eight, we could leverage that multiple there. So that's seven discards, which is not bad. We do have a potential hand in here. One, three, five, seven, nine, bam, but there's a gap. So I probably wouldn't keep that. I think I would let those go. Build around the eight if possible. This pair hand looks really good. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do seven, eight, nine with eights in the middle, but that would destroy this pair hand because we would need all the eights as the pairs. I'd rather go for a pair hand and then maybe big odds or five, six, seven, eight. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do. We have a couple of jokers, two flowers in cracks. We have two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of sevens, pung of nines in bams, two, four, seven, in dots, one, two, four, six, eight, nine. And then in winds and dragons, we have north, east, west, red. We do have a pair of uh, east in here. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? These were my tiles. I would play big odds and two, four, six, eight. We have a pair of flowers. Two, four, six, eight in two suits, so maybe the concealed hand. Keep these though. I would just gather, but look at maybe that concealed hand. We have no gaps. We just need to build up the two, or excuse me, the eights. We need pungs of eights. We've got the singles for two, four, six. If things go well, we could maybe even switch to the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Down here, five, seven, nine, dragon. But I would keep the seven, nine just in case for some five, seven, nine hand. But there's this great potential for five, seven, nine, dragon. That's the, let's see, third hand from the bottom under odds. So I'd start by discarding those. Some people might be tempted to play a quint with the east, maybe the nine and the red, but we have only one dragon and it's a single. So I think I'd rather use all the multiples for this five, seven, nine hand. If you would do something differently here, write pull three and what you would do with these tiles. The best strategy when playing American Mahjong is to build around multiples. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. For Siamese Mahjong, if you have eight discards or less with your initial plan, I would say that you are optimized to win that game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.